Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. After discussion of Bernoulli distribution, now we will discuss the topic binomial distribution. Binomial random variable is related to Bernoulli random variable. It is a discrete random variable that counts how many times a particular event occurs in a fixed number of trials. Let's say when we have probability of successful outcomes as P, P is referring to successful outcomes. So the probability of loss will be 1 minus P or we can also refer it as Q. So probability of failure outcomes will be 1 minus P and if we have one trial of binomial distribution it will be referred as Bernoulli distribution. Now probability of getting X successful outcomes out of N trials is referred to when we have x as random variable it will be following binomial distribution with n and p where n refers to number of trials whereas p is probability of successful outcomes imagine we flip a coin three times and we want to know probability of having one tail out of three trials that means if there are three attempts it can be first tail the other two will be head or we can have head then tail and then head or we can have two head first and then tail so here we can see there are three combinations of outcomes so there are three combination of outcomes which lead to success as they have one tail each time and that is we wanted. So here we will have combination as for n number of trials and x number of success equal to n c x. This we have read in combinations permutation of combinations where we can also write nx with this if we open up this we will get n factorial upon x factorial n minus x factorial where n refers to number of trials and x are number of success so when we run n independent experiments each having Bernoulli distribution with parameter P and we want to know the probability of X success. So we can write probability of X is equal to X success equal to our combination N X with probability of success and probability of failure where we will have number of failures. So here we can say the number of ways with probability of x, x, number of success with to the power n minus x which refers to number of failures. Here x will have from 0 to n and if we calculate mean it will be np whereas variance will be n p 1 minus p. Now let's take a question. Here we have to calculate probability of getting a head two times when we toss a fair coin. If we have fair coin we will have probability as 1 by 2 and probability of failure 1 minus p will also be 1 by 2 which I can also write 0.5 for both and we need to toss a fair coin 5 times. So here we will have n is equal to 5. We can say the probability of getting head 2 times successes for 0.5 for head 
and that too to the power 2 and probability of failures will be 0.5 to the power 5 minus 2 which will be 3. So when we calculate this we will have 5 factorial upon 2 factorial then 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial and here we will have 0.25 and this will be 0.125 as 5 fives are 25 25 fives are 125 now when we open up this 3 will cancel by 3 and here 2 twos are 4 so here we got 10 after calculating this we will get 0 0.312 so we can say probability of getting 2 heads in 5 tosses will be 0 0.312 now let's take when we want probability of getting head 0 times so I can write P of X is equal to 0 so we will have 5 0 probability of getting head will be 0 0.5 to the power 0 and probability of failure 0 0.5 to the 5 minus 0 will be 5. So if I calculate this, this is equal to 1 and 5 choose 0 will be 1. So here we need to calculate 0 0.5 to the power 5. Here I will write 0 0.5 to the power 5. It's 0 0.03125. Similarly, I will calculate for x is equal to 1. Probability of success for 1 time. Probability of failure to the power 5 minus 1, 4. Here we will have 0 0.156. Similarly, I will calculate for probability of 2, probability of 3, probability of 4 and then probability of 5. So if I calculate in percentage it will be 3.125 percent, 15 percent, 31 percent and same for 31 percent and then 15.6 percent and this will be 3.125. Now if you look at these values closely, first it is increasing from 3.1 to 15 to 31 and then it gets stabilized to 31 and then it is decrementing. Let's find out by plotting it into a graph. So here I'll take x and y where in y-axis I'll take probability of success in percentage and x-axis will be number of heads after flipping n times so first value was 3.125 which is with 0 3.1 and then 15 and then 31 Again, it is 31 and then 15 and then 15 and then 3.1. 3.1. So, if we smoothen it, we can see there is a Gaussian graph over here. So, for this, if I calculate mu, mean, it will be NP and is 5. And probability of getting head is 0 0.5 which will be 2.5 and if I calculate variance it will be NP 1 minus P. So N is 5, P is 0 0.5 and 1 minus P is also 0 0.5 which will be 5 5 is so 25, 25 5 is so 125 and here we have two decimal points so 1.25. Now this graph we calculated for fair coin. Now what if if I got a biased coin where probability of getting head is 
0.7 that means the probability of tail will be 0.3 the same thing we will calculate for probability of 0 head 1 head 2 head 3 head 4 head and 5 head and their respective values which we will take it in percentage here we will get 0.2% 2.8% then 13% 30% and then 36 and this will be 16.8% which is also quite increasing and also decreasing. Let's find out by plotting the graph which is somewhat like this where on y axis probability of heads in percentage and on x axis it is number of heads after n flips but it is not at all following Gaussian. So this is it. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.